Hey, hey, I'm beyond all that fuck shit. Hey. Yo, what is going on gamers? It is your boy Chris here, aka Chris at Gamer. Guys, today we finally have something that just shows that wall running literally is the worst thing in Black Ops 3. And I gotta show you guys this. This is literally going to make you upset because wall running is coming back next year. And the fact that it's coming back means that we could be seeing some more ultimate gameplay like this. I just gotta roll the clip for you guys. So like I said before, this is not my gameplay, so all of his links will be down below in the description. Go check him out, guys. He's a sick freak. But this is seriously what is wrong with Black Ops 3. And the fact that Wall Rain is going to be coming back in Infinite Warfare, it makes me scared. It seriously does because this is basically the trend in Black Ops 3. So many people have started to figure this out towards later of the game. But since we already know it, people are going to be looking for these things when infinite warfare comes out certain specialists that you can you know jump off the map and still stay alive like look the guy that's playing the bomb he played his role perfectly he planted the bomb he waited a couple seconds you know to basically pre-aim use the bomb as a head glitch and he still gets absolutely destroyed because someone's outside wall running and they glitch to be able to get back into the map there's just so many just things that is wrong with that gameplay obviously the man is a sick freak for even just trying to do that with glitch because he obviously didn't get his glitch like in that moment he got it after he got the kill so basically he needed to get that kill in order to like win the round but it's just it really does suck because without the wall running he wouldn't have been able to do what he just did there you guys see what i'm saying now obviously some of you guys are going to say he made the best play but in a way he's out of the map you know like you should not be able to do that and there are so many other maps in black ops 3 that you can do this you can do it on breach at the start of the spawn look directly just jump up in your spawn and you could literally see top ac there's more maps like this where you can just jump over the back of your base and be able to see the whole enemy spawn just like on fringe it's actually insane a lot of people are saying that he boards i'm not sure if he is a keyboarder. to be completely honest because i don't really watch him that much but either way it doesn't really matter like that's another issue we've already complained so much about keyboarding but it seems as if ps4 aka sony doesn't really even care since they're coming out with their own mouse and keyboard so that's just another issue that's not really even getting corrected but i just really wanted to say that like wall running is its own problem and that's something that is really an issue in black ops 3 i don't know about you guys i enjoy wall running i like you know doing it here and there but when we're talking about wall running out of the map things of that nature that's just where things kind of get a little bit weird just like on evac where you can seriously get as low as possible and you're still in the map and you have not died because of that i understand why they have the countdown timer where it's basically like you're out of balance you need to get back in the map at before this timer goes down but it seriously does suck because it gives that person that little spot that they can still kind of do these crazy wall runs and things of that nature in that given time and hit their glitch and if you guys don't on redwood you can literally do that exact same play but all you have to do is just have overdrive and you can literally like overdrive dash and get yourself back into the map it's mind-blowing it's mind-blowing what you can do with wall running i feel like this is the issue with black ops 3 probably one of the biggest problems in black ops 3 let me know what you guys think but just think of this cod xp is less than a week it's last map we're going to game seven and someone is playing on Redwood, and we have two of the greatest teams in the world, and they're so afraid to plant the bomb because they know that someone could outside wall run and kill them. Or let's say that someone does it. Let's say someone does that exact play that he just did, and they win a 1v2 COD XP. Are you excited? Are you happy for my mans? Or are you just upset that Vondahar, that, that the whole team at Treyarch allows something like this to happen like i don't know if this is, should be an issue if this should just be something that we look down upon obviously it was an insane play i'm not even gonna lie like that was absolutely a mind-blowing play but if he keyboards he keyboards that's another issue but it's like you know if someone does this in a tournament in, in the cod xp atmosphere that person on bomb had no chance whatsoever like seriously he had no chance well, do we clap it up or do we just feel bad for my mans that was on bomb like seriously i need to know because at that point it's game seven 
we're going into last map someone does that to me i'm just i'm on suicide watch i'm literally on suicide watch because there's nothing that i could have did obviously the kid that was on the bridge he could have ran away he could have played the time he could have played that a lot better but he he kind of challenged you know he thought that he was gonna outgun him but he didn't so you know they're right there is why i'm gonna be on suicide watch because my teammate gets gunned i literally had no chance to react so I'm on suicide watch. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please make sure to show support down below with the like and also subscribe if you are new. And as always, it is me, boy Chris here, aka Chris Tag Gamer. If you get wall runs like this in a tournament or if it is in Infinite Warfare, please make sure that you do not go near any type of bridges and just either snap the disc or don't play for a couple days because you definitely are going to be a salty person. I shall see you guys next time. Peace out.